here in Buffalo. Well, when a panel of current and former controllers recommended a huge pay increase for state lawmakers, some said no way. Well, a government reform group has filed a lawsuit now that's aimed at stopping the pay raise, calling it simply unconstitutional. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing explains why and also check to see what some local state lawmakers are saying about this pay hike. These are the people you elected to work for you on the state level. They haven't had a pay raise since 1999. I'm not against a reasonable pay increase, but I think a 63% pay increase uh, is not reasonable. Government Justice Center filed a lawsuit claiming the pay increase is unconstitutional because the legislature delegated its power to a committee of non-legislators, and that committee violated the open meetings law. State Senator Chris Jacobs supports the lawsuit. Uh, but I, I am not um, for completely banning all outside income. I think if you do that, you will assure that we have career-led uh, politicians. I neither support nor oppose the lawsuit. Assemblyman Sean Ryan says he's in favor of a pay raise, calling what the panel also put in place to restrict outside income to just 15 percent of a legislator's salary the right move. It's a great ethics reform. Assemblyman David DiPietro favors the lawsuit. He's against a pay raise and wants a non-paid legislature. Just give us a per diem, come up maybe a couple weekends, do the budget and go home. He says the way it was done was unconstitutional and thinks there should be hearings to let the legislators vote. What do you say to those lawmakers who say, yeah, it's a part-time job, but what I'm doing is full-time work and I should be paid and I haven't been, haven't received a raise in 20 years? I, I say that's the job. You took it knowing what the pay was. You took it knowing what the job was, just like I did. Scheminger was elected to the state assembly in 1976. Look, I have no opinion on it. I know what the salary has been. I know what the salary is. It is $79,500 and will increase to $130,000. It's a, a matter of what the process determines as the appropriate level of compensation. And when it happens, you'll be willing to take it, correct? Yes. Senator Jacobs doesn't think the pay raise will happen so easily come January. The lawsuit seeks a permanent injunction to stop the pay raise recommendation. We will see exactly what happens.